Hi everyone, this video is on the new moon in Scorpio that happens on the 7th of November 2018 at 1 minute past 4 in the afternoon and that's based on UK time which is now Greenwich Mean Time or Universal Time. So a new moon is when the sun and the moon sit together. You can see it in the chart next to me. They are sitting together at 15 degrees in Scorpio. Now, when the new moon occurs, the moon is totally black, pitch black, and it turns inward. It takes a break. It's like meditating. So it sits next to the sun and it recharges its batteries. It gets loads of energy from the sun, which allows it to complete its next monthly cycle. So it's a time of really stopping, to looking inward, pulling energy in and then planting seeds of intention for the next month. What is it that I want to do in the next 30 days? It's a really good practice that if you can get into it is life changing because then you look at every month as an opportunity to make your dreams come true and you work 12 times harder than if you're just like, oh, you know, maybe one day I'd like to do something. I don't know. If you're that unfocused, it's not going to happen. If you're focused, it's great. Now, this new moon is in Scorpio. Scorpio is a water sign. And out of all of the water signs, it's the one that dives deepest. And it's really about being a detective and uh, getting to the emotional truth and getting to the core of things, being interested in the occult. You know, getting the real answers, even if they're dark and horrible. Scorpio wants to be enlightened via its feelings. It wants to experience everything. It wants to know everything. So this moon is really going to give you a lot of Scorpio energy. And Scorpios are amazing people. I mean, they are intense, they're magnetic, they pull people towards them, they have that X factor, they have charisma. So you pull in that energy, which means that you have that energy, and it's at 15 degrees, which is 6, 105 is 6, and 6 is an opportunity, an opportunity to create because it's a new moon to build something. So through the charm that you're getting, this extra charm injection, this boost of also emotional intelligence and understanding and getting to understand what makes people tick. That will allow you to create opportunities for yourself, either by influencing others or by understanding where there's a demand and you can meet that demand by supplying something. Whatever it is you understand, what it is you can do to make yourself happy and someone else happy, how to have a symbiotic relationship with someone that works. Now Jupiter is next to the new moon. It's 14 degrees away to 29 degrees in Scorpio. So Jupiter is also in Scorpio. The luck planet is in Scorpio. So anything you do in the Scorpio arena is going to bring you luck. And this new moon is going to encourage you to ask deep questions, to do your homework on people, to see what someone's really about and to get to the truth of the matter. And that's going to be lucky because let's say you're engaged and um, you've been hearing some rumors and you decide here during the new moon, you, you suddenly find it's like, oh, I have the presence of mind to uh, look at things at home and to look at getting a private detective and to really find out what's going, with, going on with this man before I marry him. And this is the kind of day where you'll get answers, where you'll find what's really happening. So if you're uncertain of something, if you want to get to the truth, especially in relationships, this new moon is the time. Also, if you have a spiritual relationship that you nurture through meditation, you'll understand your practice more. And you'll understand what you can do 
that connects you more. Everything's gone very quiet now. That's interesting. So you don't need more spirituality. It just means that any relationship that's emotional and that's deep is going to continue to be that way. And the spiritual relationship will be the same, but there's great potential to spark a, a romantic relationship with someone else. Because, you know, doing the emotional detective stuff, I've given you the horrible examples, like, you know, all the horrible stuff that you can discover. But you can also discover that a person, you know, rescues, rescues injured animals and um, is a wonderful person and treats his family like angels and everything. And that then, if you see that in another person, that's really attractive. And then you can allow yourself to magnetically be drawn to that person. Mercury is also in the vicinity. It's, it's in Sagittarius at 8 degrees. Now, Mercury is the communication planet. It's at 8 degrees, so it's feeling itself, okay? It's like I'm it, I'm the shiz, or whatever. I'm really so cool. And in Sagittarius, it's reckless in a bit because it's very future looking and it forgets the details. So, despite you having this emotional understanding of someone, it's like, ah, oh, we don't need a prenup. I know he would never cheat on me. Mercury in Sagittarius would miss that. If it was in Virgo, it would have been like, hang on a minute, uh, you're not getting married without a prenup. And this is a day where you think you know everything about other people and yourself emotionally, but Mercury in Saturn is a sign, is an indicator that, as always, you're not perfect, there are flaws, and that you can um, make assumptions about people and things that they're fabulous and wonderful and beautiful and great but that they that in reality once you start noticing the details are really not now the new moon forms a an opposition with the rising sign in Taurus so spirit above physical that's much more important the spiritual intellectual stuff that's going on within you is very um, important to you and when you make decisions based on your feelings and understanding and having new perspective that will change your physical circumstances anyway so there may be some change as a result to your understanding like if the detective comes back and says he's got you know a girlfriend he goes to see her at her place in Soho three times a week Da, da, da. then that's going to have an effect on your circumstances because you're probably going to say, I'm leaving. Uranus is right next to that rising sign. Uranus is in Aries at 29 degrees. Uranus is chaos and, res and electricity and not resentment. I was going to say resentment. It's, it's just chaos. It's unpredictability. It's m the miraculous, the unexpected. 29 degrees is of service. And it's in Aries. So if you decide to take action today to discover the real truth, you will be of service in an unconventional way to yourself. You know, because if you find out that he's a dirtbag now, you're saving yourself years of marriage that are horrible. And you really, it doesn't seem like good luck that he's you know unsuitable now. But it saves you a lot of time. And Uranus opposes... Venus, which is in Libra, and in retrograde. So meeting someone new will be chaotic and it will be a lesson. It's not going to be your life partner. If you meet someone new, it's going to be full of passion and drama and excitement. It will teach you something, but it's not likely to be your soulmate. People we meet during a Venus retrograde often... Um, show us our shadow sides and the things that we still need to learn. When Venus is direct, it's much more, it's much easier and it makes much more sense to meet someone new. So focus on um, 
really understanding yourself and forming a relationship with your higher power and also understanding other people in the sense of you know your colleagues who you work with how I'm not saying manipulate but I'm saying how can you use this knowledge of other people to impress someone so that you do get paid more and that you do get a promotion there's no shame in that to try and get to the top because you know if you can do the job but the only thing that's missing is someone paying attention then you can get their attention today Saturn is in Capricorn at five degrees so the thought is going to be I have to work I have to take the initiative if I want freedom uh, freedom in a physical sense I can work towards creating a life that suits me and my feelings so it's interesting but I get the sense also that you may be relying on a benefactor like you may be relying on someone who's in your life who says I'm gonna help you I'm gonna be of service to you and together we're going to make this um, a reality and we're gonna make this dream come true if you have someone like that in your life today saying things like that then keep that person around because it's in terms of building something new and creating something to help other people with this new moon that's a great intention that the two of you can put in place and then get ideas ready and then it's not very long because it's the 7th of November already then get ideas together and launch it after the 16th of November once Venus has gone direct you can plan it and make decisions and things but then just launch it once it's moving forward again okay um now we have lots of major aspect patterns here we've got a grand trine which connects chiron in pisces jupiter in scorpio and unusual for a grand trine because they're usually in one element but a north node in leo so by uh, taking the initiative to have a spiritual connection you have no one can do that for you you can do only you can do that and it's when you realize most people most of us we realize that there's something bigger than us because we we have enough pain and we say I can't I need to stop I've fallen on my face so many times I think there might be something bigger out there which might know better but most of us only discover that through pain so if you take the initiative to connect with a higher power whether it's through joy or through pain you activate the good luck of Jupiter and you will be told what your life purpose is via your guidance or via other people it's not quite a kite yes it is so the kite connects with the south node in Aquarius it's it's really a very karmic day where a decision is made in terms of this is the next chapter on our spiritual developments and by our I mean yours and mine um, it's a day where a decision can be made in terms of is my life purpose am I still on track with it is the purpose itself still relevant am I going in the right direction am I doing am I using my time wisely and that is a real gift because you get to see what you're meant to be working on now there's also a grand cross in the charts and the grand cross is four squares and as you can see it creates this big red square and that's loads of energy but on this day you'll want to achieve your life purpose and maybe even see yourself in a position of leadership or in the spotlight at the same time you'll want to take the initiative and help other people to be of service to them and to do it in a way that's elegant and beautiful and wonderful but again remember that's a lot to do in one day so take it easy otherwise you overwhelm yourself and you just bite off more than you can chew and it just I can't you procrastinate um, and also remember that Venus is in retrograde 
So if you have all these great ideas, then yes, write them down and then launch them on the 17th of November. Okay. And keep things simple, one thing at a time. Plant these seeds of intention, one seed of intention at a time. And you don't need a pot with plants, you can do it visually and see them grow in your mind's eye. Although if you're an earth sign, it's a nice, it's nice to have rituals and it's nice to have things that you can actually see and look at. Okay, I hope I'm to the left enough that I can put the chart in. Ooh, anyway. Okay, so that's what I get for you here during this new moon. Plant seeds of intention in terms of what you want and uh, through your understanding of people you'll be able to figure out a game plan to get to a position of power, leadership, what you want to get into a university you wanted to get into. You understand that, you get the contacts, you make take the initiative and you can achieve anything you want here really this week in terms of making changes to your practical financial circumstances and it's very karmic with that north node in Leo it's kind of this is an important one on your soul mission so it's like a pit stop check so do a little bit of a self inventory today am I on the right track am I happy with where I'm going or should I backtrack and maybe try something else ask yourself those questions if you want any help or guidance then get in touch with me i do personal readings and in the personal readings i use the astrology the tarot and the numerology in the um in the readings the astrology chart i draw up by using your place of birth date of birth and time of birth if you don't have the time of birth i can use sunrise which isn't that accurate, or I can rectify your chart, which means that you send me 10 life events and I work out the time, but it takes me a while. So get in touch with me via the email if you want that done. If you have the place of birth, date of birth and time of birth, then I can draw up a chart like the one you're seeing there. And that is a snapshot of this guy at the moment you were born. And that is your identity so i analyze that it tells me where you've been in past lifetimes what your life purpose is this time around what um your vocational aptitudes are what's destined for you in money and travel and love and health and family and also what's coming up in future you can ask me any questions um horoscope compatibility anything like that uh, so if you are interested in a reading with me, then please head to the website, gregoryscott.com. Also, if you want to find out what house, what specific house of your chart this moon is happening in, this new moon, watch the monthlies, the monthly horoscopes for your sun sign and for your rising sign if you want extra information. And in those videos, I think I would probably tell you where... Um, yeah, I will tell you where those, in which houses. <laughs> Let me start again. In those monthly horoscopes, I will definitely tell you in what house this new moon in Scorpio is going to happen in. And the house systems are representative of what area of your life this happens in. So a new moon could be pulling lots of Scorpio energy into your second house of money. And you'd get lots of money ideas that you plant. Or it could be in your third house of communication. So you find new ways of getting your point across. That kind of thing. Uh, so if you're interested in that, have a look. Uh, please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Have a wonderful time during this uh, moon. And really allow the energy to come in and plant those seeds of intention. Have a wonderful time. It's really an important one. Um, let us know how things go, what you experience during this new moon. Because, yeah, it's going to be really interesting. Anything Scorpio and to do with dark is going to really be something about healing and transformation. So it's going to shake, shake things up a bit. 
and maybe shake your perspective. So don't be concerned if that happens. That's what it's meant to do. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you soon.